COVID-19 vaccine is one step closer to being added to a recommended immunization schedule for children and adults. The CDC advisory committee meets yearly to update that list. They voted unanimously to include the shot. NBC4's Karina Chung joins us now live with what that means now here in Ohio, Karina. Jared, to be clear, it is not a federal mandate. It is just a recommendation. Now, I spoke with Dr. Ben Bring. He's a family and sports medicine doctor at, Ho at Ohio Health. He says this is coming at a crucial time. It's that time of the year again. Fall is here and new recommendations are being issued by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. The COVID-19 vaccine is being proposed as a new addition to the list of recommended scheduled vaccines. The scheduled vaccines are anything from uh, meningitis to Tdap for tetanus coverage. The recommended immunization schedule highlights important vaccines for kids, including some that are requirements for school-aged kids, for example, chickenpox and hepatitis B. The Ohio Department of Health released a statement following the proposal, saying in part, the state of Ohio does not mandate the COVID-19 vaccine for school attendance. The ACIP vote does not change Ohio law. The state's list of required vaccines can only be changed through legislation. I don't think we're at any point of uh, making it a required vaccine, um, you know, and I think that's the right step. You know, I think everybody has to make a decision for themselves, for their family members, you know, what's right for them. And obviously everybody responds to vaccines differently. Dr. Ben Brain with Ohio Health says it is important to add it to the list. One of the biggest things that we're seeing from these newer variants is, you know, things like chronic brain fog, chronic fatigue, even in kids, uh, things like tachycardia, where your heart beats really, really fast for unknown reasons. Now that it's cooling down, Brings says we could see other virus outbreaks, new COVID variants, and of course, the flu. I know as we get back to the, the quote unquote normal, those flu cases will almost for sure be back this year too. Ohio law dictates what's required for school attendance. We'll have more on that on our website, NBC4i.com tonight at five. Why Dr. Bring says it's important to pay attention to those guidelines. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.